But Zipporah Berman tells you we are now able to calculate the amount of CO2, carbon dioxide emissions, that can be released into the air to keep us within a certain temperature. No, we can't, and I'll tell you why. Mother Nature. Look at the recent tragic California wildfires. Do you think California's multi-billion dollar investment in electric vehicles, solar panels, and wind farms reduced carbon dioxide? No. And how much CO2 was released from those wildfires? I can't tell you, but I can tell you that the release from the Slave Lake wildfires of 2011 here in Alberta was huge. I can tell you that in Indonesia, where the climate change proponents want to grow palm oil forests to save the planet, they're burning off native plants and causing a CO2 soot cloud equivalent to the entire year's emissions of the United States. Do you see how SIPI's math doesn't work? If any of you ATA teachers studied earth sciences, geology, you can confirm that carbon dioxide is a consequence of climate change and only nominally a cause. You can confirm that over geologic history, there's no correlation between carbon dioxide levels and temperature. Mother Nature has moved Earth's temperatures from minus 70 degrees Celsius during glaciation to plus 70 degrees Celsius during periods of evaporatization. Is it credible to think that you and I can control Earth's temperature by half a degree by cutting carbon dioxide emissions from industrial activity? We have some 4.5 billion years of Earth's history to learn from, and instead you invite an activist to speak with teachers, not a geoscientist.